This Christmas Day tornado caused widespread destruction in Mobile, Alabama, from heat waves to hurricanes. The weather made headlines this entire year. And here to recap some of the major events of 2012 is Michio Kaku, a physics professor at the City University of New York. Good morning. Nice morning. to have you with us. Mm -hmm. You look at the weather patterns over the last year, and they all seem wild, extreme. What was driving that? Well, when you look outside, you say the weather's on steroids. But there's no single aha moment where you can say, aha, this is what's driving the whole thing. But what you can say is that the earth is heating up, which means more moisture is going into the air. And when moisture collides with cold air from Canada, watch out. That's what's driving hurricanes and tornadoes and droughts and even forest fires in Texas, for, ex for example. So the earth has never been this hot before, as hot as it is now. This year could go down as one of the hottest years ever recorded in the history of science. The last 10 years goes down as the hottest 10 years ever recorded in the history of science. And that means more wacky weather, more moisture, more energy. Uh, global warming is a misnomer. It should be called global swings, where we have flooding in one area, forest fires and droughts in another area simultaneously. Which means the world doesn't end tomorrow. It's just every little event is incrementally worse or more significant than it was before. That's right. When you look at the larger trend, you see something disturbing. All the glaciers on the Earth are receding. You see the fact that the North Polar ice caps has diminished by 50 percent just in the last uh, 50 years. An area the size of the United States in terms of ice disappeared this year over the polar ice caps. Uh, the seasons are changing. Summer is longer, winter is shorter, tropical diseases are moving north. All the indicators show that the Earth is warming up, and that's what's driving some of this wacky weather. Does that foreshadow, then, more extreme weather in the future, or could we snap back? Get used to it. We could be experiencing more 100-year flooding, storms, and hurricanes because there's more energy circulating in the planet Earth because the Earth, on average, is heating up. Now, we can argue how much human activity is driving it, but everyone agrees the Earth is heating up, there's more energy in the system, and that means more swings in the weather. No matter who's contributing to it, more, more swings. So we certainly saw a swing uh, just a couple months ago when Sandy came in, Superstorm Sandy. It wasn't technically a hurricane when it hit shore. Talk about Sandy a little bit, what happened, what came together for it to happen, and whether something like that is likely to happen again soon. Well, that $70 billion storm exceeded even the 100-year projections of New York City. And one of the reasons is the Caribbean and West Atlantic is about four degrees warmer than normal. And that's the energy that drives hurricane, warm water. And because the Caribbean is hotter than normal, and because it collides with cold air coming in from Canada, that's what drove the energy that devastated much of the Northeast. So when you look forward to next year in your crystal ball of weather, what do you see? Well, no one can predict the future. However, what you can say is we're going to experience more swings, more wacky weather, more 100-year storms, perhaps. Get used to it. This is the new normal. Is there one type of weather event, by the way, that, that becomes a little more extreme than others, tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever else, or is it just everything is affected? Everything on average, because it's the collision of two large air masses, uh, one from Canada coming in, cold air from the jet stream, warm air coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. It's the collision of these two air masses that creates Tornado Alley, that creates many of the thunderstorms and determines the weather over the United States. And these weather patterns are now being affected on average by the warming of the earth. Professor Kaku, thank you so much. Appreciate My pleasure. It.